Okay, came early. I um, wasn't supposed to be here until Tuesday, but I went down to my um, post office box and it was here today. I'm extremely shocked. It's Friday. It was supposed to be here until Tuesday. Uh, especially since last night it said that it was uh, in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio as of this morning. So whatever. Um, maybe I'm getting to. Who knows? But I just pulled it out of the shipping box and boom, it, just like this, in its travel case. Um, the only thing here is a packing list slip, which, yeah, packing list shows uh, the, the plane. Oh, <laughs> this is the Swan K1 VTOL, which means vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, drone, aircraft, however you want to put it. It's a flying wing drone crossover. Um, the airplane, the battery, and I got an extra battery, extra set of propellers, and the DGI air unit, which is the primary focus. I'll show you. Put this away. And this nice semi-hard suitcase. Love it. Double zippered, like I said, semi-hard, and here we have it. We have a manual. And this is the version 2, not the version 1, so there are some differences. Um, the controller, and this is one of the differences that I uh, really like, antennas. See, the controller has its own view screen. It's supposed to be running Android, so you don't have to use your phone anymore. Um, it now has its own display. Like, good size. It kind of looks like a copy of DGI's Crystal View, I think they call it, controller. Uh, looks pretty simple. Nothing complicated. From the looks of it, there is no battery port, so it's probably got a built-in battery. Charging brick. Anybody who has anything is familiar with a charging brick. Other end of the plug for the charging brick. Main body of the aircraft. I'm going to put that to the side real quick. The outer winglets, because you figure you have the inner, is the outer. The spare battery. I'd say these things look wrapped pretty good, not overly uh, styrofoam. Uh, the battery. You're going to have to look up the uh, cells. I can't really see them. So if I'm not mistaken, it's 6 cell. You see the connector. And of course, the plug in for charging it. Of course, I can charge it right here with a regular RC charger. A USB-C connector. I would imagine this is for connecting it to your phone or anything like that. I would imagine for updates and things of that nature. Main body. As you can see, this is the DJI camera. This is just a spot where your uh, video camera would go. And this is just a placeholder. You pull this out. You can put your GoPro in there. I could probably put the Insta360 in there with the 4K lens, which if it comes down to that. This is your pedo tube to get your speed. The antennas for the air unit. So the unit is down in here. Camera is in this section. I'm going to have to take this off because you've got to bind it to the goggles. 
for my DJI goggles. So I'm going to have to get in there and press that. That's going to be a pain in the butt every time, but that's what it is. I'm trying to see there's a hole right here. I don't know what that hole was for, but it will be in the instructions. This whole front unit. Okay. Navigation stuff will be here. I think the battery. Ta-da! The battery it comes with, that one is an extra. I ordered an extra because I always like to have two Velcro, as you can hear. The second battery is not Velcro. I have to take care of that little problem myself. Plug. Nothing spectacular or mind blowing, but it is nice one piece, not heavy at all. Put that here. Now for the motors. Let's put that battery. And of course the battery compartments hold on with magnets. The top lid. Kind of smart the way they did this. You probably should have made this piece a little stiffer. But this is fine. Oh. Well, piece of a strap. Okay, I have. I don't know what that goes to. Camera lens cover. Definitely good to have. The props. I have two sets. They're self tightening props. That's one set. Two sets. Pretty self explanatory. Now the motors, which caught my eye, these are the motors. So this is all there is to it in the case. I just wanted to do this video real quick. Um, I'm trying to keep them down, guys. This is the K, the Swan. K1 version 2 VTOL. I'll, when I go to flying field, I'll do the uh, getting ready for flight and fly. Hopefully, lickety split nice and quick. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll tell you more when I do more. I can't wait. Very excited. Peace.